Right, a little short video to answer a question that keeps coming up. Should I buy a caravan or a camper van? We had caravans for 25 years and we're now in a van. So I would definitely recommend a camper van over a caravan any day of the week and twice on Sundays. Now, if you're gonna be staying on sites rather than wild camping like we do, then I would say there's not much in it. You know, if you're parked up on a site, you might as well be in a caravan. And the big advantage of a caravan is it's cheaper than a van, although you do have to factor in a tow car. But the main difference between the two is that in a caravan, you go from site to site. And once you're there, you have to strike out and explore the local area. And we found that quite boring because you're always going backwards and forwards on the same roads all the time. Whereas in a camper van, it's totally different. You move from attraction to attraction. And thus you see an awful lot more than you would with a caravan. The other advantage is, of course, that you're not tied down to campsites. With a caravan, you can't wild camp really. You know, if you have to get up and drive off in a hurry, you've got to connect up the van, wind up the legs, do all sorts of stuff. Whereas with the camper van, all you've got to do is slide into the front seat and turn on the engine and go. When it comes to resale value, I think a camper van is going to hold its value much better than a caravan will. Another major advantage with a camper van is that you can use it to go out for the day. Um, there's no way you can tow your caravan up onto a local beauty spot and just sit there for the day because someone's going to tell you to move. Whereas you can do that anywhere you like with a camper van, provided you can limbo under the barrier. Now, playing fair with caravans, the one thing I would observe there is they are far more comfortable than a, than a camper van. Loads more space, nice big toilets, uh, plenty of room to do your cooking, but Everything is a compromise, and if you want that freedom to travel, then you need to be able to go a bit smaller. One thing I do miss about the caravan, though, if I'm being honest, is the heating system. We had an Aldi wet system, and that kept the caravan so toasty warm, and it was silent in comparison to the noise you get from a diesel or LPG heater in the camper van. Caravans are also very well insulated, so it's possible to use them throughout the year, particularly in the depths of winter. You can do that in the camper van, of course, but you're going to have to have that heating going full blast. If you're the type of person who likes to stay on campsites for an extended period, then I don't think you can really beat a caravan for that. You can get a beautiful awning to put on the side and have all the space you could possibly want. You'll have your tow car to go out every day exploring the local area. Whereas if you're in a van or a motorhome, you're going to have to pack things away. So it's a bit more of a nuisance. But of course, in our case, because of the style of camping we do, we don't really have that problem because everything is always packed away in our van unless we're using it. Now, another downside of a caravan is you've got to tow the darn thing. And that can be a bit hair raising at times, particularly if you're overtaken by a lorry on the motorway and it's nice and gusty and you get a little bit of a wobble on. Don't have those problems really in a van. Of course though, once you've arrived at your campsite, you unhitch, set up and that's it. Now you've just got your car to explore the local area. But if you take a wrong turn in a caravan, that can be an absolute nightmare. And in the worst possible situations, you might even have to unhitch the van and turn it around manually. There's a lot more planning needed when you're towing a caravan. You've got to be mindful of bridges, narrow lanes, restricted access. All of that comes into play. Whereas with our little MV200, we don't have to worry about that. We can park it anywhere we like. And it doesn't really matter how narrow the road gets because it's so easy to manoeuvre. So in conclusion, I would definitely recommend a camper van over a caravan if you want to do wild camping and you like touring. But if you're the sort of person that likes to stay on campsites, go for a caravan. They're cheaper and easier.